Sometimes going to church, it causes more trouble. And it becomes a struggle when the people in there try and attempt to destroy the truth. They try to destroy your reputation. They try to corrupt the truth with lies on Facebook. What can we do? What can we say? How can we move towards the truth when some don't have any shame? What can we do when the love is growing cold between people, between brothers and friends, who no longer love each other, but obey the ego in their chest? Today I tell you, wake up church, Jesus is knocking at the door. Open the door before it's too late, because at some point there will be no end. I tell you church, Christ is coming soon. Church, Christ is coming soon. What should we do when there is a struggle? Why aren't we telling others about the final battle? What are we doing in the church cafeteria instead of evangelizing to people of different criteria? We go to fill empty buildings, but yet we still come out of there feeling emptier. People's souls are full of solitude and bitterness. They're being filled with lack of truth. They expect to get closer to God, but the message is not watering them. Instead, it is a watered-down message, making them dead by being rooted in money, in their honey, and other things such as a bunny. What are we doing when we don't follow the gospel? When it was told to us, go call disciples. What are we doing, church? What are we doing, church? What are we doing spitting to people's faces? Why aren't we hugging them and embracing them? Why aren't we doing a feat for God instead of nailing His children's feet to the religiosity in our minds? Why aren't we telling the people about heaven and hell and telling them to take heart and trust in Jesus instead of themselves? Wake up, church. Jesus wants His children, not people whose heart is hardened. Wake up, church. Be His children. Be the truth.